Hello ladies and gents, Ro here and welcome to Normal Films. Today we're going to continue our Final Cut Pro 10.2.1 tutorials and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys the transform edit within Final Cut Pro. Let's go ahead and open up into our tutorial event and our project here. Here's some stuff we've worked in previous tutorials but let's go ahead, what we're going to do is we're going to simply go ahead and grab a small portion of a clip here. Let's do about just, just five seconds just to show you guys how the transform tool works. Dragging it straight into my timeline, I'm going to select my clip and I'm going to go to this little inspector pane at the top right hand corner or middle corner here. You can also hit command R to open that up. But for now we're going to go to the left hand side pane here. It says video and then the very first one here is transform. And uh, just in case you can't, you got blank right here. You're going to want to make sure you scroll your main uh, timeline little scroller here straight over the footage. That way you see where you can apply the transforms. And then from here, you can just use these, um, once you're already in the transform and you've selected, you've highlighted this option here. Um, I believe it's just called the transform option, but you can, from here, you can simply just, you can do anything, honestly. Rotate, tilt, flip, uh, for example, there it goes upside down. And then be sure to watch these measurements at the very top right here, right below, right, right up here, where I have my... Uh, it says the height you can make sure and then memorize I mean you don't have to memorize but just see how, and then you can adjust it to your liking of how you how, where you want it now you don't you can't you can you don't even have to do it just this way you can go ahead and rotate it like I've said before just like this and uh, there's no limit on to how you can do this and going in and out of the circle makes it how precise you get it for example if you go really small you could rotate really fast now I'm just gonna try to put it back here as best as we can and then also you can grab the corners here. I'm gonna grab the bottom right, and you can see you can adjust the size of it as well here, just like that. And then the sides, you can go ahead and grab the sides here, and that can flip it. I mean, basically, yeah, flip it a completely different way for you as well. Now, if you notice, sometimes when I make these adjustments, these coordinates within the actual uh, the transform tool change. For example, when I rotate it. If you watch that little rotation, you can see it rotate itself, and it's telling you how many degrees I've rotated it. You can go all the way back to its original form, which would be zero. And then you, to, for precise editing, you can also click on this and then use the arrows to to go down to a particular number. If you want to go straight to zero, and then just put in zero, enter degrees, and then it'll take you to zero. And then also you got the position here. You can use a scroll bar as well if you're using a scroll bar. To, you should be able to easily scroll through this or you can like I said just use the um, up and down arrows on your keyboard and that will get it precise as well you can see as you can see now I'm just changing the position of the actual clip the transform tool yeah just lets you change the position as well and you can see those coordinates changing the X Y now if you're doing 3d you could which will cover in future tutorials but you could change the Z point as well which will let you go in depth and stuff now also we got anchors here and uh, the scale, we can expand this and we can adjust the scale by doing these if we wanted more precise. For example, we wanted to put this to a precise percentage as well. But that's the basics of the transform tool. Be sure to leave any questions in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next tutorial and later. So let my life be the proof.